Hello everyone and welcome to episode 14 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. Um, uh, I, my apologies for the delay in this episode. I had a scheduling conflict on the 7th and was unable to uh, to uh, record it then. But uh, we're back now and uh, just have a few things I want to cover. Uh, number one, I want to say congratulations to Mark Linder over in Human Resources. Uh, he was our episode 13 winner. and He's been hosting Link now for about a month. And so Link's ready to go visit a new department. So uh, stay tuned on Monday for the episode 14 question and your chance to host Link in your department. Second thing I wanted to talk about is uh, testing. And when I'm talking about testing, I'm referring to uh, the testing of our implementation environment of PeopleSoft. And uh, there are four phases to this testing. I have a slide here I wanna show you. So uh, the first phase is what's called the functional testing phase. And this is uh, run by the cyber group. They're the consulting group that's managing our implementation. And so they're gonna be uh, testing the configuration of the system, but they're also gonna be testing the Kim Lees. Now you may have heard this term, uh, but if this acronym, but if you haven't, it stands for uh, customization, extension, modification, localization, and integration. And we have all of those uh, in our uh, in our system in our RFP for this uh, project, except for the localization, because we're all we're just going to be localized in the United States, so we don't have to worry about that component. <clears throat> the second phase is uh, six systems integration testing one that is also going to be run by cyber and so they're going to be looking at all those integrations um, and just making sure and that means a pillar integration so the integrations between uh, the finance pillar the hcm pillar or human resources pillar and the campus solutions pillar and then they'll also be looking at the kimley integrations um, as well and then we'll move on to systems integration testing phase two uh, and that's going to be run by the state board and there's a possibility that some of our folks on campus might actually be able to um, to participate in the SIT2 testing, which would be great. Um, but if not, um, the, the, the phase that we're really going to get uh, hands on in the system is going to be user acceptance testing. And that's where we're going to be uh, delivered scripts uh, from the state board for staff on campus so that they can uh, take you know follow the script through the system and make sure that the system is performing as it should be or they're going to be doing some negative testing as well so they're going to be trying to they're going to be going following steps and try to uh, use the system incorrectly and see uh, what happens when they try to do that so that'll be a really um, busy time for a lot of staff on campus because they'll be going through these scripts and testing the environment it'll be probably the first chance we've had uh, to really get our hands into the environment and really start looking at um, what the PeopleSoft environment is going to look like for us. So that's the, the testing piece and you'll see that the various phases are coming up pretty soon. So right now we're in the, F, the functional testing so that's going to go through uh, February and then systems integration testing one and two will run February through May or to, to the beginning of May and then May will start the user acceptance testing. Uh, so May will be the first um, major opportunity that we'll have for staff to get into the system and really start looking at the PeopleSoft environment and the data that exists within that environment. So finally, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about our business process diagram analysis. So staff members from each of the pillars, the finance pillar, uh, the human capital management pillar, and the campus solutions pillar, um, we've all been uh, focused on looking at the PeopleSoft business pro process diagrams and, and looking at um, how they relate to the business processes that we use today. And so we've been analyzing these documents and uh, trying to determine the degree of change that we expect uh, in moving to the PeopleSoft environment. And I just wanted to give a big thanks to all the, the staff members that I've been working with uh, on this BPD analysis. Uh, it's been a lot of work. Uh, we got the first phase completed. Uh, so we've been able to identify all of the uh, changes that we really aren't sure about. So the unknown uh, changes and the major changes um, that we expect in the system. So we can identify those and work with the CTC link group at the state level so they can help us identify uh, how big those changes will be and, and, and what the differences will be. So I just wanted to say thanks again to that group. Uh, they've really been, uh, they've, they've been really helpful and they've spent a lot of time working uh, through this process um, and uh, we've made a lot of progress. And it's been interesting kind of participating, for me, interesting participating in this process because I've learned a lot about uh, the various uh, departments on campus uh, kind of focusing on some of these business processes. 
Um, so that's all I have for today. Uh, stay tuned for Monday uh, that we'll have episode 14 question out uh, for your chance to um, host Link in your department. Thanks.